HIPAA laws are very important and very strict. That said, remember, Coco is not entitled to the same rights and privileges that we are. By just arresting Coco, though, on suspicion of communications fraud, that gave them the ability to get the subpoenas and search warrants against Coco. Had they formally charged her or indicted her, that would have to be, they would have to present evidence to the judge in front of Coco and her attorney or a public defender and showed their hand. Worse, the judge could have tossed the case and that and any information obtained could have been made worthless under double jeopardy. Prosecutors do not have a timeline to prosecute. They can prosecute you anytime. They can take their sweet time doing it. They can wait and gather as much evidence as they want. And you got to sit there and just be paranoid about it until either they prosecute you or the statute of limitations run out, which is a number of years. Now, Lynn and I expressed concern with the Salt Lake County prosecutor directly that Coco might start scamming other individuals, an elderly person, and on top of the fact she is a flight risk. Honestly, in my opinion, if they just deported Coco, good riddance. I don't think anyone would ever get the money back from her anyway. Another question that is just misinformation, and I don't take it that this is malicious, just lack of knowledge and education, and they call this, what, a teachable moment? Because Coco did not receive the GoFundMe money, and it was refunded, that they can't charge her. False. If there is one thing you learn from this, you do not have to receive benefits or money to be charged with fraud. That is in any state, the federal government, and especially Utah. Just like Tim Ballard, Coco Berthman has committed what we know as, at least, at the very least, what we know as affinity fraud. That's why Tim Ballard was investigated in the first place.